aspect ratio. Hmm. Welcome to our quick fly bubble guide about aspect ratio. When you hear aspect ratio, what comes to your mind first? What does it really mean and why is it important? Let's find out. In simple terms, the aspect ratio of a paraglider is the ratio between the wingspan and the average chord length of the wing. The wingspan is the distance from one tip of the wing to the other, um, and the chord length is the distance from the front to the back of the wing. The flat aspect ratio is calculated as if the wing is laid out flat on the ground. The projected aspect ratio is calculated as if the wing is in its curved flying shape with its surface projected onto a flat surface. To calculate the aspect ratio, you divide the square of the wingspan by the wing area. So, for example, if the wingspan is 10 meters and the wing area is 25 square meters, then the aspect ratio is four. Now, why does this matter? The aspect ratio affects the performance and handling of your paraglider in several ways. A high aspect ratio means a longer, narrower wing. Higher aspect ratio wings typically have better glide performance and higher top speeds compared to lower aspect ratio wings. They can also offer better efficiency in terms of lift to drag ratio and that makes them extremely effective for climbing and gliding in all sorts of conditions. However, high aspect ratio wings are also less stable and more demanding to fly. If you imagine a wing with a high aspect ratio, it will be very narrow and sharp looking, which gives it more flex. The narrow design allows uh, the wing to move and snake around, which can make it very tricky to control, especially in turbulent conditions. As they snake around a lot, they will collapse faster, and when they collapse, they can quickly get tangled and stuck in the lines because of their narrow shape. So overall, they require more skill and experience to handle, um, making them better suited for advanced pilots. On the other hand, a low aspect ratio means uh, a shorter, wider wing. If you now imagine a wider wing design, which looks more like a block compared to a snake-like high aspect ratio wing, um, you can quickly see that the block-shaped wing doesn't have the ability to snake and wobble around as much. This is simply because its shape does not allow it. These wings are more stable and easier to control, making them ideal for beginners and intermediate pilots. They are less likely to collapse and are more forgiving in turbulent conditions. The aspect ratio of a paraglider is a crucial factor that influences its performance and handling. High aspect ratio wings offer better performance but require more skill, while low aspect ratio wings provide greater stability and are easier to fly. If you're not comfortable while flying, always feeling on edge and unable to get the maximum uh, performance out of your wing, then you might be flying a wing with too high of an aspect ratio for you. In paragliding, wings with aspect ratios around four to five are typically considered beginner or entry level wings, prioritizing high passive safety features. These wings are designed to offer stability and ease of control for pilots who are starting out in the sport. Conversely, wings with aspect ratios around seven are classified as high performance wings aimed at very experienced pilots. These wings are designed to maximize performance, catering to pilots who seek high efficiency in various flying conditions. Between these extremes, there exists a range of aspect ratios that cater to pilots at different stages of progression. Our pilots can find wings with aspect ratios that balance stability, performance and responsiveness, allowing them to tailor their choice to their skill level and flying preferences. Aspect ratio is indeed correlated with the EN rating system, which categorizes wings based on their behavior in the flight tests. While the aspect ratio is not the sole determinant in categorizing and rating wings, it provides a straightforward metric, which is quite easy to understand. It always gives a good indication of how broad or slender a wing is. The higher the aspect ratio, the greater the potential for performance, but also for complexity and sensitivity to handling. What do you prefer? High or low aspect ratio? Perhaps something in between? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Long, safe and happy flights. Until next time.